Allow me to ask, um, well, my boss, Bishop Brunheng, the Bishop of West Malaysia, to come and uh, speak to us a little bit about the home hip hail hub and how the church, Holy Trinity, we give in time plays a part. So please welcome Bishop Brunheng. I always thought that a cafe uh, has uh, not only talked about Air Asia. He, she adopted the Air Asia point, big point, dream big. <laughs> now, recently when she talked about the airplane, it reminds me that one guy who, after hearing the M, uh, MH370 and MH17, the uh, unfortunate uh, situation that has happened in our country, or our airlines. And this guy felt very nervous to fly because he says that the planes are these days are not very safe. He asked his, his club, he says, can you please go and find me an airline, which is, uh, I still want to fly, but I, I'm very scared of uh, flying and then committing this disaster. Find an airline that is safe for me. So this guy went around and checked all the airlines, all about the same. You know, she came back and said, Sir, I felt all the airlines about the same. Everyone will have one or two disasters of one kind or another, or a technical failure, or something of that kind. He said, not good enough, go find some more. And this person went around and asked the end, one of the, uh, the airline uh, tour, tour agency, and he says, my boss has this problem, you know, he likes to fly, but he couldn't fly because he's so panicked. And he says, uh, the ratio that I have found out for all the airlines is roughly one into a thousand. You know, one into a thousand. One into a thousand is zero point one percent. And he's not very happy. Then finally, he taught this club, tell your boss, there's a new way, and very safe way. You know how? Then he went back to his boss. Boss, I found a new way, a very safe way for you to fly. So safe. He says, one in a thousand, you probably find an air crash somewhere, or air disaster, something that is a normal one. But I can give you a one very good uh, way to do it. If you bring a ball up into the plane, there will be one out of eight million percentage. You will not find an airplane with a bomb inside the airplane allowing you to fly. <laughs> so you have one of the eight million. That is statistics. And statistics talks about numbers. But I want to read to you uh, this little passage that I wanted to bring up to you. Um, in front, in Col uh, Colossians chapter 1, just listen to me, and it says here, Verse 24 and 25. I rejoice in my suffering for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, that is the church, of which I became a minister according to the steward from God that was given to me for you to make the word of God fully known. The mystery hidden for ages and generations, but now revealed to his saints. To them, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone mature in Christ. We are now in the exciting time. If you are living in Malaysia, God bless you. It's a good time. You know, I now am the president of the Bible Society. If you don't know, then somebody says, what a fool. Get into the Bible Society to be president better. You know, when the potato is so hot, and I want to tell you that I never want to get in. I left CFM as a president last year. I said, shh. Good, no, I'm no more in the Allah issue. Then, this year, when the term of the past president has finished, uh, he has to leave after five years because the, there's a constitution. Is there looking for someone? Everybody looking at me, I said, please don't look this way. 
I'm very busy. The bishop and the church is very busy. No, no, don't go this way. You know. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. You know, we need people, we need good names. You know, just put your name. Say, no, 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 I need to pray. No need to pray, we pray for you already. <laughs> just put name, just put name. I say, you sure? No, just put name. So the name, my name went in, three names came down. So the end of the, of the AGM day, only one name, that's my name. <laughs> that's how I got the job, you know. So if any one of you want to raise your hand, say after, the, after this, you say, you tell me you want to be a president, I will very happily ask them to do an EGM and change your name. <laughs> what I say to you, we are right in a hot potato in this country. And I believe that don't be discouraged. Uh, when all these Allah things and all these Bible things, don't be discouraged. Uh, God is actually telling us one thing. It is time for us to get to work. It is time that we arrive at the working hours. Not night yet, it's day. Get to work. So when we get to work, Alpha is fantastic. Everywhere around the world is fantastic, reaching out to people. But after reaching out to people, they accepted Jesus Christ and we need to do the next stage. The next stage needs to go into the church, needs nourishing, needs building up. In the sense of the way, but many times the crowd like this, people will say, one, 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 and I will not say this, I want to say to you, anak, anak, dan murid, murid, Jesus Christus. We are the children of Jesus, of God, and we are the disciples of Jesus. So, I want to say that we need to build up each other as disciples. That's the only way we can face the onslaught of whatever difficulty that comes. Too many people, we might, I have been ministry for 30 years, people come into the church, whatever ways we reach them for Christ, and they're excited, and we give them baptism, or the adventure, we do the confirmation class, we do all these things, we do a little Bible study class. And they said, in the end of the day, when they come out to the world, we lose many of them. They don't come to church. And we ask the question, where are the young people? Where are the old people? Where are everybody? Because we have not done the next stage. We done ABC. We thought they graduate. But now, Alpha Resource Hub here is fantastic. We'll do the ABC. We'll reach out to the families. We'll reach out to the young. We'll reach out to the adults. We'll reach out to the working people. But they come in. All oh, our churches need to do the D, E, F, and W, Z. We must do the rest. In order to do the rest, we have to collaborate with Alpha Resource Hub here to help Alpha to go on. At the same time, we must collaborate to the point that we must have something to be able to help to build up the people. And you say, why HTTP is here? HTTP is here, it, you know, why that I got myself involved? Because I'm in KL, number one. Number two, I'm willing to open up that this is going to be a team of covering so that this can go on. And so you can go on as a church and you will run as a church. And we may not be expert in this area, but we like to join hands and share and develop. And one day, that all these people we brought into Christ will not fall off. We want to see the numbers falling off smaller and smaller and smaller until one day no one will fall out. We want them to be in the, the flock of Christ to be together. So, HPPB is allowed in come, coming here to actually give us support. You finish ABC, we do DEF and we develop and it is a long haul to develop a person. I was an engineer before and I went into, I built many roads and bridges and buildings and I produce those things. And I can go into the place in the forest, in the jungle, I can do, do up everything and I can see the bridge in a year or two or three, depends how long the, the bridge can be. I can see that when I change my role from an engineer to a, a, a pastor, when I try to build the people, the first thing I encounter one of my friend, very good friend, he told me, you please change your mindset. You can build a bridge, you can see it from nothing until it comes up in a year or two. 
but when you build a person, it will take a generation. It will take a generation. And you build a bridge, the bridge won't hit you back and say, uh, you built wrongly, uh, you didn't build so beautifully. But you train, you build up a person, the person will come back, sometimes misunderstand you. You turn around, sometimes they thought that you are doing evil intent on them. And sometimes they say that you are blocking the pathway. And sometimes they think that you are actually, you know, doing something to glorify yourself. I went through all those things. Many people that I built up and many misunderstandings we have. I try to be so clear, but I want to say, don't give up. Jesus has misunderstood and understood by his disciples. And even if one of his disciples saw him out, so I want to say to you, do ABC, all the means go out. Alpha is good too. Do do. Many other too, but Alpha is good too. And easy. All available. But make it available that you do the EM. The important thing is to build them up. Once they come in, develop them, shape them, build them. And that's the contribution I want to share in this part uh, of the development. And I think the hot potato is here. If we can build everybody, get ready. I, I think the time will come. The revival is just at the door because we are not ready yet to build all this. But once you are ready, the revival will just come, and the fire will just ride through everywhere. So with that, we also know that it will be lots of prayer, lots of preparation, lots of money, lots of attention, and a lot of was a lot of patience and love. So God bless you. And you can come along and share with us in the HDBB and we will want to see develop and build something and hope that they can multiply all the cities in the world that one day everybody will be up. God bless you.